21 free ways to promote your gaming videos to thousands of people for free. First, did you know that you can actually use Steam to promote your gaming channel? In fact, it's an inbuilt feature of Steam. All you have to do is go to your profile. When you click on it, you'll see a list on the right hand side. One of those options will be videos and you want to select that. Then you want to select link YouTube account. And once you do that, you'll be able to upload your videos to Steam and promote them by connecting them to the game that those videos have been created for, assuming that game's on Steam, of course. And when you do this, they'll show up on the videos tab for each game. And Steam does this so that potential buyers of that game can check out videos on it and learn more about it. And as a result, sometimes, particularly for games that pop off, these video posts can get a serious amount of engagement. Another way to promote your videos through Steam is by dropping your videos in Steam community discussions and forums. But if you're easily offended, I would be aware of this one. I've seen airport urinals that are less toxic than some of the communities on Steam, so just play it by ear. Oh, and don't spam. Try to engage, be genuine, find people who would genuinely be interested in your content and then slip it into conversation in a natural way, aka don't be a douche. Another way to promote your videos is to use Discord. Often you can find highly relevant Discord groups to your game. A little hack to do that is to look at the video descriptions of all of the top YouTubers in your niche and often they'll have links to their Discord servers there and you can join, interact with the communities there and promote your videos. However, relevance is important. You wanna make sure you're not joining random Discord groups. You wanna be joining Discord groups that will be filled with the type of person who would want to watch your videos. And then when you do end up promoting your videos, make sure you don't trick people into clicking. Many people really hype up their videos and try to create promotions that encourage users of these communities to click. And often their promotions make out the videos to be a lot better than they actually are or about a topic that they're not actually about. And then when that person clicks, even though you get a view, they land on the video, realize it's not what they wanted and then they leave. And that's not good. It hurts your growth. And this principle is the same for all other points on this list. However, with that caveat aside, and assuming you're patient, enough to go through all 947 inactive Discord channels in each server to find the one channel that actually has active engagement, there are plenty of views to be gained here. Before just dropping your links everywhere though, and again this applies to all points on this list, try to become part of the community first. Engage with people, build a relationship with people, add value to people, and then when you do share your content or get permission to share your content, you'll be much more likely to one, get more people to check it out, and two, not get deleted from that community. The next way to promote yourself is Amino. You may not have heard of it, but it's a social media app that has over 13 million users and over 2.5 million communities. And yes, I know Amino is a pathetic excuse for a social media app compared to many of the other options we'll talk about later in this video, but 13 million people is still a hell of a lot. And on top of that, I've found there's a strong gaming culture on Amino for many particular games and themes. Anime and Star Wars are pretty popular, for example. The next way to promote your videos is on wannabe TikToks, or as my lawyer advised, I call them Instagram Reels. Please don't sue me, Instagram. The principle is pretty simple here. You can create content or better yet, repurpose your existing content into short form vertical videos, post them on reels, they get views. And the idea is to try and entice people into then going and checking out your full length videos. And even though reels have been around for some time, they still throw around a crazy amount of attention. For example, one of my students just started a brand new Instagram reels account and got over 10,000 views on his first three videos. And he only has seven followers on Instagram. And speaking of short form video content, another place to promote your videos is TikTok, aka the crystal meth of the internet. If you're good at compiling your videos into short form content, it's a good place to get a ton of exposure. And it's also great at producing feelings of shame and self-disgust. You find yourself binge watching TikToks at 1am when you should be working on a YouTube video that teaches gamers how to promote their gaming channels. Oddly specific example there, but trust me, it happens. But all jokes aside, you can basically just copy everything that I said for Instagram Reels and then apply it to TikTok because they're almost the same. Another free place to promote your videos is through Twitter. Twitter is a cool option because on Twitter, people seem to be more forgiving of promotional content, in my opinion, maybe because there's more people doing it. And assuming your promotions are actually good, it's easy for them to blow up quickly thanks to Twitter's retweet functionality, especially if you have friends in high places who don't mind dropping you a retweet every now and again. So assuming you can tolerate all the social justice warriors ranting about, well, basically everything, it's worth creating a Twitter account because it can be a great way to get more views on your videos. The next way to promote yourself is right out of 
the stone age and it is the one and only Facebook. However, do not create a Facebook page and post promotions from that page. Old mate Zucks hates YouTube with the passion of a thousand sons and won't give you any organic promotion. So you'll basically be wasting your time. Instead, create a page for your channel and then join relevant groups to your videos with that page. And then you can post your promotions in there. And another caveat, I know I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Make sure the groups are relevant. And particularly that means do not do sub for sub. I know it might be tempting when you're close to your goal just to get a couple of sub for subs just to push you over that line so you can unlock the community tab or get monetized or whatever it is, but it's not a good idea because of relevance. You're going to be attracting the wrong type of person that's going to ruin your stats. They're not going to hang around. It's going to confuse the algorithm as to who your audience is and basically it will murder your channel. One star total crap would not recommend. Now, Facebook tends to have an older audience, so it's not my favorite social media app for promoting. That one comes later, but it's free. So, I mean, why not test it out? And that's the same with a lot of options in this video. Test them out, look at your views and analytics, see if it's working. If it's not, stop doing it. If it is, double down. Simple as that. But speaking of old social media apps, you can use Instagram as well. Instagram is slightly different to Instagram Reels. The strategy for promoting yourself on Instagram versus Instagram Reels is slightly different. On just your Instagram account, you can just post photos and sometimes little snapshots of videos. But try to make sure the posts you're making are actual content, not just screenshots of your videos, thumbnails, because people won't follow and engage with an account that's just an endless list of promotional thumbnails. Unless of course your name is Mr. Beast, because that guy's face is just a magnet for views. Another awesome way to promote is on Reddit. And when something pops off on Reddit, it really pops off. It's also a great place to find niche communities for specific games that have a lot of active users in them. I've personally not used Reddit a whole lot for my channels, but I've had students of mine literally get hundreds of views from a single good Reddit post. In fact, I know someone who got over 2000 views from one single Reddit post and it was all highly targeted traffic who actually watched his video all the way to the end. Okay, maybe not all the way to the end, but you know, it was good traffic. I don't remember the details. Oh, and while you're on Reddit, chuck an upvote to old mate so he can once again rule the top of the page when people Google the Senate. Please and thank you. Another unique place to promote your videos is through Q and A sites like Quora. And this can be a gold mine, especially if you're an educational channel. What you want to do is look for questions that your target audience might be searching for and then answer those questions to get attention. For example, if I was doing this for me, I might start out by searching for a question that commonly comes up with my audience. Like, why does Marcus insist on including lame jokes in all of his videos? And then I would try and answer that question in a way that adds value to that person, but also draws attention to me. And you can either hint at your channel link or your channel name and your profile, or you can just full on drop a link to a specific video that answers their question better or in more detail. And you can also do this on other Q&A sites, for example, Yahoo Answers. No, Q&A sites aren't perfect for every channel and no, they don't usually get you thousands of views, but some of the methods later in this video will. So let's move on. And the next medium in which you can promote yourself is through specific forums. Sometimes specific games or communities will have particular forums outside of any mainstream social media accounts that have an incredibly engaged user base. If you think your game might qualify for one of these, do some research and source out whatever weird and wonderful sites your audience frequent, and then find a way to promote your content there, while bearing in mind obviously all the principles I'll talk about in a minute aka don't be a douche. And now we're really getting into some of the good stuff. You can promote your channel in YouTube comments. Or more specifically, don't directly promote your channel, but you can attract attention for your channel through YouTube comments. And because people are already on the YouTube platform, the friction for them to then check out your channel is far less. Now I've said this a few times, but engage, don't spam, don't be another one of those copy paste to whoever's reading this, keep going, your channel will be successful one day comments. If you're just copying and pasting general messages on a variety of different videos, not only is it morally messed up, but it's gonna get you shadow banned or banned from YouTube. Looks like you're going to the shadow realm, Jimbo which means that you'll either get your channel deleted or you won't have your channel deleted, but your comments will need to be approved by the creator of those videos before they'll actually show up live to people. And speaking of copying and pasting, never drop links to your videos in the comments section. Again, it's morally messed up and really annoying. Besides, people can access your channel by clicking on your profile picture. So if they wanna check you out, they know how to, trust me. Now, some of you might not feel comfortable with engaging and frequenting comment sections, even if it's not done in a spammy way, if your intention is to generate attention for your channel. And if you're not comfortable with that, that's totally fine. 
but I did want to include this method because I've done the numbers and it does work. And you can do a similar thing with YouTube live streams. On YouTube live streams, you can interact in the live chat and your conversion rates will actually be even higher than in YouTube comment sections. But usually YouTube comment sections will have a lot more exposure and your comments will generate a lot more impressions than you would in a live chat. Because if the live chat has a huge amount of people and is really active, then your comments will probably only be on screen for about 0.3 seconds. So in a nutshell, you can subscribe to all careers who produce content similar to you and who have a target audience similar to you. And when they're streaming, go in there and basically prostitute your engagement. When you think about it, you're kind of like an internet gold digger for attention. Except it's like the reverse because you'll never get money from the creator. You can only give money to the creator. Oh, I'll shut up. Another little known hidden pocket of potential are community tab posts. The community tab gets an insane amount of engagement relative to how much effort you need to put into one. So if you're large enough to have unlocked the community tab on your channel, you can exchange community tabs with other creators, reach out to them, basically do a shout out for shout out thing on each other's community tab posts. Super low effort, super easy and win-win. But again, make sure the creators you're reaching out to have an audience who would genuinely be interested in the type of content you create. If you have a small channel, you can actually buy promotions from YouTubers. But now this is a given, but I've been in situations where you can get a community tab shout out from a creator with 50,000 subscribers for about 50 bucks. Assuming that community tab is active, that post can be getting thousands, tens of thousands, and maybe even hundreds of thousands of impressions, depending on how interesting the promotion itself actually is and how many people engage with it. So it's pretty cool. And similar to my favorite promotional tactic, which I'll get to later in this video. Speaking of on-platform promotion, you can also promote your own videos in your own videos. Now that might sound obvious, but if you have a feedback loop where when you get a view, you're constantly promoting your other content and you can turn one view into three or four views, which would be incredibly good. I'm just throwing those numbers out as an example. You're gonna grow your channel a lot faster and those people who watch multiple of your videos are gonna be recommended more of your videos on their YouTube homepage, on their next up, etc., etc. So some methods you can use to do that are through cards. Those little eye icons that show up during videos that can link to other videos or playlists. You can also do this through description links, physically linking a video or playlist in the description or about section of your channel. Pinned comments are also a great place to promote your content. I mean, think about it. How frequently do you go down and check the comment sections of videos. If you're like most people, probably pretty frequently. And you as the creator have the power to pin any comment you want, including your own. It's free real estate. And it's a similar story with end screens. Promote your own videos, turn one view into two views or three views and extend your session time. Another cool method is playlists. Playlists can help to group multiple of your videos together and result in organic promotion for all videos in that playlist, assuming you can get your viewers into that playlist in the first place. But actually one of the most powerful things about playlists is it's like an anti-promotion tactic. Because when you have a viewer in one of your playlists, that playlist takes up a significant amount of the right-hand recommended bar of that viewer's screen. And normally, those places on YouTube would be populated with other creators' videos. When you get your videos into a playlist, your playlist crowds out those other creators' videos, makes it more likely that you're not gonna lose your viewers to another creator. And last but not least, probably my favorite form of promotion is collaborations. Believe it or not, even if you're a small creator, and you know the right way to approach them, you can land collaborations with channels that have thousands, sometimes even tens of thousands of subscribers. And in fact, this method is so powerful that I decided to create an entire video on it, which is on screen now. So you should definitely click on and watch that, especially if you've never done a proper collaboration before. 